Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will guide you how to restore a weak battery. The circuit is very simple, using common components, I believe you will like it. The circuit uses IC555, which generates pulses at a frequency of about 6.5 kHz with a duty cycle of 5%. After passing through the circuit, it will generate pulses with a voltage up to 60 volts. These pulses will help remove dirt around the battery terminals and help the battery recover like new. Now, I will connect the actual circuit to a rechargeable battery. Connecting to an oscilloscope will make it easier for us to observe the operation of the circuit. The current voltage of the battery is about 13.8 volts and the waveform is a straight line. I connect the circuit to the battery. We see the waveform change. There are many high voltage pulses charging the battery. This is what we want. It will help to repair our battery. I will explain the working principle of the circuit and give detailed instructions on how to make such a circuit after the sponsor's advertisement. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. JLCPCB is the full-service electronic manufacturer. JLCPCB's innovative one-stop service model makes production highly efficient by tightly integrating EDA software, PCB fabrication, parts purchase, stencil cutting, and SMT assembly. One to eight layer PCB from $2, lead time as fast as 24 hours, strict quality control, and trusted by 5.4 million customers worldwide. $80 new customer coupons, upload Gerber files to get PCB with high quality and low price. This is the result. After one week, the box and circuit are from JLCPCB. The circuit is very beautiful with very good quality. I have shared all the files, including the Gerber file and the PDF file. You can download it in the description. This is the circuit diagram. The circuit uses IC555 to generate pulses through MOSFET and diode to generate high voltage pulses to charge the battery. Pulse frequency is about 6.5 kHz with a duty cycle of 5%. Next is the inductor. We have two inductors here. The choice of inductor is very important. I will guide you how to do it in this video. Next, this is the overvoltage and undervoltage protection part of the circuit. The circuit will not work when the battery voltage is below 13.0 volts and above 15.0 volts. The capacitors, MOSFET, diode, transistors used are common types. However, we need to test them before using them in the circuit. This is the FNIR CDS OTC3, which has many functions, such as component measurement, pulse generator, and oscilloscope. You can learn about it in the description. The inductor can be taken from a broken computer power supply. The heatsink can also be reused. I 
I will remeasure the capacitor and inductor to make sure they work properly. The filter capacitor has the smallest ESR value possible. The boost inductor has a value of about 4 to 5 a. The filter inductor has a value of about 20 to 5 a. You will need a heatsink to help the MOSFET and diode work properly. Note that the temperature sensor must be fixed on the heatsink. The circuit will automatically shut down when the heatsink temperature is too high. I have shown you how to make a simple but effective battery recovery circuit. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.